Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. In this week's lesson, we're going to be doing a simple to complex lesson with the tune Chinkapin Hunting in the key of D. If you're looking for the tune in A, it's already on my website, so check that out. I've got tons of lessons on my website where I teach tunes, do these uh, simple to complex lessons, and play along jams. All my lessons are always free, and I put out new ones every single week, so subscribe if you haven't already. There are a couple ways to donate to the site, which really helps things uh, chug along here at Mando Lessons headquarters. Greatly appreciated. I've got uh, a Patreon page where you can get access to lessons early, patron-only live streams, things like that. I've also got merch, and I've also got just a simple PayPal donation. Whatever you choose is greatly appreciated, but not required. So let's jump into today's lesson. The way these simple to complex lessons work is I'm going to start out by playing the tune as I taught it in the chinkapin hunting lesson in the key of D again. Um, and then I will start adding some double stops and other uh, melodic variations to it and talk about what I do as I'm going along. This tune has some great opportunities for drone strings and melodic variation. So we'll jump through all that stuff. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll start out as written and then add things and talk about it as I go. One. Two, three. Now I'm droning with the A and D strings. Just playing through the D and A strings as if they're one string. Really fills out the tune nicely. The B part starts on a G chord. You can hit that little G at the beginning. Here we go G. Let those notes ring. Here it comes again. Just droning the G and D strings. A chord, D. Play through the D and A strings the whole time. Try to get the melody to stick out though. on the A chord. 2-2 two, two open. Let's put in some slides. I'm sliding from 4 to 7. B part. Here comes another slide. Five to seven this time on the D string. Here we go. Big G chord. A. A little melodic variation. Throwing in a C natural. Here comes again. Uh, I missed it. Let's try it one more time. B part. Big G chord. 
A G A chord. It's always hard to stop that tune because that A chord always makes you want to start back up at the top of the B or the top of the A part. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun. If that ever goes too fast or too slow for you, you can always use the little gear icon in the bottom right hand part of the video. Slow it down to 50% or 75%. Get it to the point where you can really follow along with what's going on. It's a great practice to really get your right hand moving, get those D and A strings kind of droning along regardless of where the melody is and throw in some big G chords and other kind of partial chord shapes. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day. Bye-bye.